Ranger XLT. So that's your current vehicle, huh, Jack? Well, that's what I run around in. That's what I do my hauling in. I don't do any heavy, heavy hauling anymore. Remember I got that about a year and a half ago? I traded that big one in? Yeah, now you did a lot of upgrades to that, didn't you? You put new tires and stuff on it? It's got brand new tires on it. I got those about four months ago. Those were uh, 100 bucks a piece. 100 bucks a piece. That's an expensive tire. Those are rare, aren't they? Yeah, well, they're hard to get. <laughs> it's stick shift. How many miles does it have? Uh, 80, uh... 96,000 96, miles. That's but not bad. There's a little rust right here. See, it's starting to rust through when I bought it. That was like that yeah. happened real quick. Yeah, that's probably pretty common on these old things. I like it's got the bed liner in there so it doesn't uh, protect your stuff a little bit. It's hauled a lot of junk, Vince. Oh, I bet it has. But I, I don't haul much anymore. Being retired, I just use it for you know small loads. You know that that load with that there Nazi stuff was big. Remember? I oh, that, that, that was a heavy load. That was a heavy load. But this thing's got eight spark plugs. The gas mileage is great, and it's still running terrific. Five speed. So are you thinking about trading it in then? Yeah, I'm gonna get a new truck or a newer truck. Are you gonna uh, get a full size, or are you gonna stay with the small one? Oh, small. Oh, okay. That 3500 uh, Dodge I had. Uh, that diesel, that dually, mm -hmm. I hated that gas for the price. And yeah. I, don't, I don't do that much hauling anymore. It's so what I'm going to do up. is I'm going to fix that. The, have the body fixed on it. I won't be able to do it. Fix the windshield. Uh, clean it up a little bit. I'm going to trade it in for another truck or sell it. You know, one of the, probably with you. If I sell it, be selling it with you. Hey, right? how about? How about we put it up on eBay and see what happens? Yeah, we can do that. All right, yeah. we'll do. We'll, we'll show you how to do it. There's okay. a couple ways to do it now. Um, you know, when you trade in a vehicle, a lot of times they play around with the prices to make it look like they're giving you more for the truck, and then sure. they raise the price of sure. the other one, so you never really know. Right. That's why I like to sell them outright. Well, let's uh, let's move over to the computer. I'll show you a couple ways to do it. You talk me into it. All right. All right, Jack. I'm going to show you how to list the car on eBay now. Um, there's two ways to do it. One way, there's a fee that you pay. It's $125 when you list it, but there's another way. It's free. I'll take two of the free. <laughs> I'm going to show you the freeway. <laughs> okay. All right. Now there is one caveat. When you list at the freeway, it does go on the real eBay. Um, however, it's only visible to people that are within 200 miles from your uh, oh, zip code. Yes. If you pay the 125 bucks, it goes across the whole world and everybody yep. can see it. But for a car that's really going to be used and driven and not not a collector car, honestly, 200 miles is probably where your buyer is going to come sure. from anyway. You know. Now, I'm not going to sell your truck yet because I know you're not ready, but I'll show you. I got a 66 Thunderbird that I'm, I've been wanting to list. So I'm okay. going to go ahead and I start out, I go to motors.ebay.com and then I click here on classifieds. And then I click up here where it says post your free ad. Okay, it asks me what category that I want to sell my uh, vehicle in, and I'm going to look for for sale. And then I'm going to look for cars or automobiles. Uh, where is it here? Right here. Cars and vehicles. We're going to put it in the classic cars. And this is a 1966 Ford Thunderbird. And it's actually a town hardtop. We want to get 6000 bucks for it. Now, I've already done my description here, so I'll just select it and paste it in okay next it'll let you uh, put up to eight photos and all these photos are free as well wow so this is kind of cool you know? it, yeah especially uh, for, for free you get your vehicle out on eBay um, one thing I noticed about eBay Motors they're not trying to gouge the the sellers like regular eBay. Yep. It's like the bastard stepchild of eBay, and they they actually have a pretty <laughs> fair uh, policy. You know, they even on the real eBay they charge you a hundred. I mean, on a full full blown auction, it's a yeah. hundred hundred twenty five dollar fee to list wow. a car, but they don't charge you any commission after that. It's just a hundred twenty five bucks if it that's, sells. That's fair. That's not bad. You know, compared to the ten percent that they're charging on everything else. Okay, where are my pictures here? That's not them. I got too many pictures. I got to clean this thing up. But I'll find them. Almost six years of doing auctions, you get a lot of pictures. I'll bet. There's one picture. Let's 
through pictures. Now, if anybody's interested, this car is located right here in Chesterton, Indiana. Um, it's a 66 Thunderbird, and it's only had uh, two owners. It had the original owner, and then it had the, the owner's brother when he died. And uh, it's got real low miles on it, runs and drives real good, and it's a classic looking one. And the owner pays for the uh, fees um, on eBay for the ad. <laughs> yeah, no, there are no fees for this one. <laughs> ah, I get it, Chad. <laughs> All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can put one more in there. Well, it looks like that's all I have ready. So we're gonna go ahead with seven pictures. We're gonna put in our store phone number here. Oops. Preview my ad. There it is. Ford Thunderbird Town Hardtop, six thousand bucks. All my pictures are there. All my ad is there on the right. I'm gonna click post. Now, if I want to advertise it on Facebook or Twitter, I click yeah. those buttons. Oh. But it's just that easy. Now, like I said, the, the limitations. The limitations of this are it only goes 200 miles from your zip code. So I put in Chesterton 46304. Only people in the Chicagoland area around 200 miles from here yeah. can see it. Wow. Um, the other thing is. Uh, it's a big area. Yeah, I mean, for a car that someone's going to probably pick up, this car is actually a classic car, so it might be better to put it on the, on the full blown eBay. But. Um, you know, we can try it here first, and if we sell it, it's great. If That's not, like move it up. That's like Toledo, Ohio to Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, go. for your truck, when we're ready to put your truck up, yeah. this definitely be, be cheaper. Oh, Save the yeah. 125 bucks. I think it's cheaper than my fourth white. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so that's one limitation. The other limitation is you can't put it in an auction format where people bid on it. Yep. You just put it in as a classified I'll ad like you would in a newspaper. Yep. Well, you got any questions on that listing no, there, no, Jack? No, there's nothing to question. The price is right. All right. So if anybody wants a 66 Thunderbird or if anybody wants Jack's, what is it, 97? Yeah. But that's a, I, I want to keep that. I might fix it up and just keep it. That's oh, all. come on. Maybe. Maybe. If the, the price is right, somebody make an offer for Jack's <laughs> truck. Owned by a celebrity. It's <laughs> yeah. got to be worth something. Yeah, a little truck. I'll tell you something. Have an eight spark plug like it does. It's really nice, the gas. When I got rid of that big one and started using this, oh, God, did I love it. Hmm. And I still do. All right, Jack. Thanks a lot, man. See you one next week. One last thing. Yeah. How big is the motor in that? Uh, it's a V8. I'll guarantee you that little truck uses less gas than that. I sure <laughs> hope so. Take it easy. No, you like the Thunderbird.